Right, we're live. Okay, so um, I'm actually streaming this playthrough. Um, we're back for another... Um, so basically, if you like the second uh, video, um, last time I went through the, uh, the the setup of the squad, I went up for the setup of uh, the kits, um, played a whole bunch of games, and uh, we won the first league game 3-0 against Solihull Moors. We're going to play this time Chorley, Dagenham and Redbridge, and uh, Barnet at least, at least those three. Um I just want to have a quick check on the finances because, as I said, I, I intend to actually play this game at least for the season or a couple of seasons. And I just wanted to get an idea of the balance. So the starting balance is 1.7 million. That's for the whole club. Um, so this isn't realistic, by the way. I don't know the club's finances in real life or anything like that. Um, but it's just more for me so to see how much the club grows because, obviously, as, as I get through the game... The stadium's going to be expanded and things like that. So um, I, I'm interested in that. There's not really much to update you on. I just progressed the game a couple of days um, until the next match, basically. Um, Ilias has returned return to full training, to full uh, fitness now. Um, he played in the last game anyway, so I don't think... Um, I don't think that's too much of an issue. Um, and I think that's it. Um so Sammy and Jacko got um, got play uh, in the team of the week uh, for uh, the for the league, the Vanarama. Uh, yeah, so Sammy got got in there and Ilias got in there, uh, which is great to see. Uh, not much on the player advice, the backroom advice. Um, it's been a couple of suggested changes, so um, I'm not going to make these changes anyway. But I think um, there's just been a few. Um, it's been advised that I put Dexter in central midfield, which, you know, at the moment is actually quite funny because I have actually been playing him in midfield um, and Mason out on the left um, at left back. Um, and it's suggested that I play Maxwell up front. Um, that would suggest that Ilias still isn't fully fit. 88%. So maybe that's why they're suggesting that. Um, Mason has been performing well in training, so let's just praise him. Uh, I wanted to take a moment to tell you that I've been very pleased with your recent training performances. Um, so that's good to see. Ah, oh, what a time to save the game. <laughs> Auto save. I could probably take you through the tactics as well in a bit more detail at some point on kind of what I've advised that they do, or what we do, what players do. Uh, Notts County prepare for Solihull Moors. Will we just wallop Solihull Moors 3 0? Um, available players for under 23s. Um, uh, I mean, I suppose I could put all of like the the players that I'm not start that all of the sort of computer generated players um, at least. Are there any that's... So these two are on the subs bench. So I remember having quite a good uh, balance. So we'll take them out. We'll keep all the others on there and then they can play in the under-23s and then at least it keeps them match fit. And then if we get any injuries and we need to put someone else on there, then we've got um, we've got that. Um, they'll be match fit. Uh, so we're going to line up exactly the same as we did last time. We'll have Benjo in goal. Sammy on the right. Oscar and Sebi in the middle. Dexter on the left. Jack on the right. Mason as the box to box, Joe as the central midfielder, Harry as the wide midfielder, Rafferty in the Dennis Bergkamp advanced playmaker role, and Ilias up front in the Thierry Henry role. Um, I watched back through the video. I didn't. I went through the whole team and who, who the, the sort of corresponding player was. So the the Ashley Cole and the uh, the Colo Torre, the Sol Campbell, the uh, Lauren, Fre uh, Bobby Perez, Freddie Jungberg. Uh, Gilberto Silva, Patrick Vieira, Dennis Bergkamp, and I didn't say for Ilias that this would be the Thierry on re-roll, which is why he's got um, places shots and knocks ball past opponent. Um, Thierry on obviously always cut in from the left. Ilias will be cutting in from the right. Um, as I said, the whole thing is inverted, um, which is why they're in opposite. So it's just looking like Dexter and Seb are still a little bit tired. Uh, Dexter's at 89%. 
Seb's at 89 percent and then Ilias so Ilias is looking a bit better he's at 91 so anyway we are where we are we're going to start with this teams are warming up so they've gone for the 4 2 3 1 and actually as well we can actually match them if needs be with a 4 2 3 1 as well I want to carry on where you finished off last time. I always like to say I have faith in you. I like to see the... There you go. I have. I completely believe you've got what it takes. And that motivates them. And then It's nice to see at least a bit of green in there anyway. Players lining up. Oh, good. So that's one thing. It looks like the, the goalkeeping top thing's been sorted out because this is our home kit now. This is at River Lane. So this is our home stadium. Who was that took the free kit? I didn't see. I was too busy rap rabbiting. But yeah, so this is actually our... So this is actually our stadium. So this is supposed to be River Lane. Or it doesn't look anything like it. Um, let's go with a bit more of playing on the front foot rather than inviting us onto them or them onto us. Let's have a TV view. Could go for 2D. Right, not a lot's happening in this game, is it? Although it looks like we've had more of the play, as we should do as we're at home. Twenty eight minutes in, still nothing really of any use happening. Goals going on elsewhere. Sammy with the throw, Ilias picks it up, squares it to Jack. Jack, is that Harry at the back post? It's over hit really by Jack. Dexter, nice ball, come on Jacko, and again, Sammy, Harry, go on Harry, oh, oh it's disallowed, why is it offside, are you kidding me, I don't think we'll have VAR, but I, oh, all right, well anyway, um, I'm not a fan of this view or that view. Right, we're going to go more attacking now. Team talk. Not happy with your performance. Everyone's looking nervous. We'll give it a couple more minutes. Yeah, see, I'm not happy with this view. Dexter picks it up. Joe will make that. And Dexter, Joe. Great switch, that Joe. What's that, penalty? Oh, who takes it? Ilias? Ilias take it? That doesn't look like Ilias. Harry. 1-0. There you go. First goal of the season, Harry Norman. Thank you. Um, I'm still not happy, though, with these um, the camera angles. Calmly put away by Harry. And the, the numbers are still not appearing as black, which is a bit annoying. That's a bit better. to get out there. Mason brings it out. Oscar. Ilias will make that. Oh! He's done him. Who's helping him though? Oh, Ilias has done it again. Oh, deserved a bit more there, didn't you? What was it originally? It was director. Let's just keep it as director as the camera angle because that was the only one that actually seemed to be close to the action. 60 minutes gone. Um, 
Joe's looking a bit tired. So's Dexter and Seb. Rafferty will pick that up. Joe boy. Where's that? Who was that to? Uh-oh. Almond. Didn't realise we were going to get outplayed by a nut. Although... Could be classified as uh, Harry. Oh, and again. Oh, what a double save from that keeper. Harry's been right in the thick of it today, hasn't he? Jacko, pick that up. Another penalty. I don't know. These penalties were getting a dodgy. Harry will take this one as well. He's probably been our best player. He's been in the middle of everything. The disallowed goal. Oof. I'll take that. 2-0. Going to make a few changes um, and just move a few players around. So I'm going to give Jacko a bit of time up front. I'm going to put um, Ilias on the left. Um, Harry on the right. Is he? Uh, we should be all right to play there. move them around a bit. Oh, what a tackle, Sammy. Brings that ball out. Was it, Ar uh, was it Armand that he tackled? Um, right, let's make a few changes just pretty much because we can. So... Um, Ilias wasn't 100% fit before the game, so we'll, and he's actually. We'll take Ilias off for Maxwell, and then we'll put Harry back on the left, I think. Put Maxwell on the right. Um, Heath will come on for. Joe needs a bit of a rest, doesn't he? He's knackered. So we'll put Heath on for Joe. Yeah, that should do fine. Um, who else is tired? Both Seb and Dexter are tired. Seb's playing a 7. Dexter's playing a 6.7. So we'll take Dexter off for Richie Seacole. Sammy's on the attack. And that'll be a corner. Do we reckon Harry for man of the match? I think it's likely. Maxwell beats his man, plays it across. Who was that? Harry finishes his hat trick. Hat trick, Harry. Oh, uh, you'll have to see it. Save Benjo. That's the uh, the River Lane Clubhouse there. The background where you can get yourself a bacon wrap. Right, come on, Rafa. It's been quiet in this game, actually. Take him on. Oh, unlucky. And again, Rafa. Distribute. It's what you're there for. Go oh, come on. Harry picks it up again. Do him. Cut inside. Cut inside. What a bizarre highlight this is. Well, if they're having to shoot from there all game, then I'm happy with that. Very good. 
20 shots on goal to their eight, 10 shots on target to their two. Total fails, about even. More possession from us. Harry gets himself three goals with a 9.4 rating. Joe Boy apparently didn't have the best of games. Um, and I would imagine Harry got man of the match to D. Yeah, player of the match, Harry. Um, earned himself a good rest. Even got himself in the book. Look. Other than that, who else played well? Everyone in defence played well. Um, midfield, not so much. Jacko had a solid game, 7.7. All in all, good day at the office, isn't it? So we march on to the next game, which is Dagenham and Redbridge, who have <laughs> lost today 2-1. So hopefully we can continue that form. Game is in seven days' time. Not interested in buying players at the moment, keeping my players. I do need to sort out the, the, the coaching, though, because um, although we've got some good names in there, Andy, Mark, Kevin, Nick, David Clark, Jay and John, um, the actual rating of the training isn't amazing. Um I don't know if the board will allow us any more coaches, will they? Apparently one more. All right. So I guess the weakest area for our coaching is tactical possession. Okay. So what would we want? Um, I'll just do it. Noel King, but he's a manager really, I doubt we'll be able to get him, unless we burst the bank. Okay, he does look, look like quite good. Contract type, oh he's up for it, oh he wants way too much money doesn't he? Yeah we're not getting him, there's no way we're getting him. Alright, okay. So we want more of these stats. Is the mental and the tactical. A little bit out of our price range, and actually, he doesn't want the job as coach by the looks of things. So, if we were to offer him the top whack, yeah, it's not happening. Uh, okay. Well, it's got to be something in here. I mean, eventually, we're going to have Dennis Bergkamp as a coach, so I wouldn't worry, boys. Right. Working with youngsters is quite an important step. Level of discipline, determination. I just don't think it's going to improve what we have. And that certainly won't. Okay, we'll continue with Stephen Kelly. Um, So we'll have it on two years. He only wants 250. We'll see if we can get him down to 190. Oh, because I changed the, the contract that's on offer. Right, let's see if we can get him for 250 then now. Two 
275. Bazinga. There we go. Two year deal, 275 per week. I don't want to give him uh, injections just so that you can play for a bit. Well done, Zach Ritter. Wow. Seb, Jack and Harry all in Team of the Week. So that's two weeks in a row for Jack that he's been Team of the Week. Uh, Sebby, solid there in defence. Harry, obviously, with his three goals, has, uh, has made that. Um... Rudd turns professional. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I thought we had space for another coach. Let's see if we... Mm, it's not going to happen. Okay, we'll have to go as we are. It's going to stop with development. We're sticking with the same. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> I didn't actually do any work on set pieces. So we haven't really got anyone that's any good at set pieces. Um bit of a bad move that. Oh well. Joe, oh, look at Joe. Training well, boy. This will take a few moments. So if we can get off to another another win, then that will be, what, three wins in a row. I still personally think, like, I think we were, what were we, due to avoid the drop? What was our media prediction? Oh, okay. It's not too bad then. Don't want to change anything for that. No need. Uh, going with the same lineup because, um, and it looks like everyone's back to full fitness now as well. So we've got, yeah, it looks like we're all back to full fitness. Ben in goal, Sammy, Oscar, Seb, Dexter, Harry, Joe, Mason, Jack, Rafferty and Ilias. Give the fans a good performance. Now we're away at Dagenham and Redbridge. So this would be a good test and they're unlikely to get a player sent off. We'll keep it on balance for now. Oscar picking up another yellow card.
Yeah, Dagenham and Redbridge look like they're having a bit more of the play, don't they? Twenty two minutes in, this is the first highlight. Straight out to Ainsworth. Mason make that. Jacko, let's go. Good ball. Ilias will get that. Oh, he's beat him. Jacko. There you go, one nil. And that's not bad at all. Good hit, edge of the area. Yeah, we like that. Especially because it's been quite an even game. So to be able to go run ahead quite early on. It's just coming up to half time and there's a, oh, not now, not now. Well done, Sebi. Let's get it out. How will this go? Distribute. Good. Ilias on the gallop. Is he going to pull it back? Is he going to pull it back? No, he's going to hit it in the side netting. Okay. So, uh, Harry's won back possession a lot. Good number of touches off the ball in the penalty area. Jack are obviously scoring some goals. I never like saying keep it up. I'd rather say there's still room for improvement. But that hasn't had any effect. So let's just say that you've got faith. If all else fails, you've got faith. And I'm quite happy for the clock to wind wind down in this. It's 52, 53. Um, coming up to 60 minutes. And I'm quite happy for the clock to tick down, although it looks like we've been probably the better team in this second half. Let's just make sure that we concentrate and stay focused. So we don't let in any silly goals. That didn't go down well at all, did it? It went down like a fart in a space suit. Okay, okay. Players are getting knackered. So, Sebi, you've got to come off, bud. So we'll take you off for Heath. Because um, he's too tired at 65%. We've got Joe on 69, Harry on 69 as well. So we'll put on max well for Harry. Um, not much I can do about Joe. Um, oh, there you go. We just scored again. Harry as well got the goal. Well, I can't take Harry off now, can I? Right. We'll take Sebi off for Heath. And we'll have to put Maxwell on for Joe, who's not having the best of games and he's tired as well. Um, it's not ideal because Maxwell can't really play there. However, if we put Rafferty back in the box to box, oh sorry, in the right, Rafferty goes in box to box. Mason goes in the central uh, midfielder in defensive mode because he can tackle. Rafferty goes box to box, and then Maxwell goes in the advanced playmaker role, and we'll stick Jack up front. Um, and Harry can go on the right, Ilias, you can go on the left. There you go. So I didn't see a replay of the goal, actually. I'll have to bring that back. Ben with the goal kick. Harry picks it up. Maxwell now. 
loses the ball. Oh, I'll get a tackle in someone. Oh. Is that Harry lost it? That was Maxwell, wasn't it? Okay, let's just show a bit of encouragement. I'll say tighten up. It's all right, boys, careful. Just don't do anything daft. That should be it. Uh, that was not as straightforward as it maybe could have been. I want to see the Harry's second goal because I was too busy faffing. See the goal. Rafferty, great work from Rafferty. Great through ball. Harry, banger janger. There you go. Those two linking up well. So that'll do nicely. Great work from Rafferty as well. Um, yeah, considering that we were underdogs actually before this and we thought we might not. We might not get a victory there. Jack inspires our YFC win. So what was Jack man of the match then in that? He did get himself a good the first goal, didn't he? There you go. Jacko with an 8.3 there. We've got Mason with three key passes. Rafferty as well with one assist. Um, and four key passes. So we're starting to sort of build a few bonds. Jacko there getting himself a goal, um, which is always good to see. So the front three doing really well, aren't they? And four if you include Rafferty as well. Harry, Rafferty, Ilias um, all doing well. Defence doing their job. Um, Maxwell giving the ball away for the only goal we conceded so far. We don't need to see it again. Rewatching the whole game. Good. Well, another win. So let's play Barnet. Let's play Barnet and see where we get from there. Players are going to be knackered for this game, though. Because I'm not really rotating. Like, the point is you're supposed to rotate, but I kind of want to keep this team playing for obvious reasons this is another game that we're supposed to struggle in you know look like a good side Going to start with exactly the same. I'm not going to mess about with it, really. Um, why change what isn't broken? And actually, the players aren't too... I thought there was going to be some real problems there with uh, match fitness, but everyone seems to be all right, so we're just going to go with it. Go straight with it. And, um, yeah. Let's see what we can do to keep our run going. This is a home game as well, so we've got the home team advantage. I'm going to play on the front foot. Tell us to go out with a positive outlook. So that's like slightly more attacking than the balanced. Not much happening, early doors. We've had one shot, apparently. Looks like their highlight, doesn't it? In you go. Well done, Raff. Rafferty. Drives with it, cuts inside. Plays it back to Joe Boy, who loses it. Oh, well, he blasted it straight over.
Not a lot happening, <laughs> to be fair. Let's just say that we expect a certain level of performance and it's not coming so far. See, the one, one of their players is knackered. Out, out, charge that down. Yeah, it was coming, wasn't it? All right. Right, so we've got two options here. And I like the option of trying to hit them straight back. Jacko, we're going to move you forward. Harry, we're going to move you forward. You're going to be an inside forward in support mode. You are going to be an inside forward on attack mode. You're going to come more central. You're going to play as a centre forward. I might even change you to an advanced forward yet. I haven't decided. And Harry's on a yellow again. Oh, God. My changes haven't even taken effect at this point. Don't concede again so soon. Look nervous. Why are we all nervous? Okay. I'm going to have to tell them to calm because they all look nervous. So I'm going to say, unlucky, things just haven't gone right for us so far. Good, they've gained confidence. That's what we wanted. Okay. And remember, we are playing slightly more um, attacking in this. But again, everyone's anxious and nervous. I don't get it. Sammy with a corner. Sebi. Now, Sammy again puts it in. Jacko, right. Jacko, I think you can go up top in a minute, mate. Let's put Jacko up top. And we'll put Ilias on the left, Harry on the right. There you go. What happened there? I don't understand why all the players are like nervous. Shall I encourage them? Would that help them? No, it definitely hasn't encouraged them or helped them. Oh, weird camera angle. Ilias wins it. Jacko to Ilias. Sammy. Let's get that ball in the box, boy. Harry. Mason. Oh, I thought it was in. I thought it was in. Unlucky, Mace. Going to have to start thinking about making a change. Um, and the obvious one is to bring Maxwell on. He seems to be... Um, so, OK, if we bring Maxwell on, it's going to have to be Harry off because he's on a yellow but also he's not performing very well he's only playing 6.5 Jack's playing a 6.3 um, just no one's really turned up today right we'll put Heath on as well for Mason who's playing a 6.2 and then Dexter as well for some reason is not having a good game so we'll take him off he's even gone into red now um, and then we'll put Joe in the box to box. Would that be a sensible move? Hmm. Did I? When we move forward, did I tell him to sit in there a while? I 
don't think it's going to make a, a, a massive amount of difference, but it might. Let's play a bit more attacking. Come on, not like this. It's just a weird game to be losing, to be honest. Right, let's put Ilias up. You are going as an advanced forward in attack mode, and that's going to be Ilias. We're going to have Rafferty in behind. Do I play Maxwell as a third striker? So they're going to be all strikers, basically, um, supporting uh, Ilias. So this is a big risk now because we can get done on the wings pretty badly. Nearly just scored though, didn't we? Right. Final push. Demand more. It's their goal kick and this is a highlight. Winners. Right, let's go. Oscar, release. Ben. Simple balls, good boy. Sebi, distribute. What is that? Come on. Right, who's going to be first to that? Oh. Come on, at least one more highlight. Come on. This goes very attacking. All men forward. No guts, no glory. Three minutes of stoppage time. It's not going to happen. Unlucky boys. Unlucky. Um, we didn't actually play that well, though, overall. Jack did all right. Ilias did all right. Rafa played all right. Seb had a good game. But there's a lot of 6.3s and 6.4s. It's a shame. It's a um, bit of a sour note to end that one on, but um, it is what it is. So there we are. League table doesn't lie, does it? So we are. We're four games in, three wins, one loss, six goals uh, in goal difference. Just a bit of a shame, really, that last game. But anyway, top goal scorer is Harry with four goals. Jacko's got the highest rating for us um, and most assists is Rafferty with two. Um, great start anyway to the season. Look, we, It's not like we were going to win every game and, and blow every team apart. So look, just put it down to, um, let's just put it down to uh, experience. In terms of training, Ilias is doing well in training. So I will praise him. Um in terms of improvement, though, I think everyone's doing all right. I think everyone's improving. Let's have a look at Ilias and his... Um, his improvement. There you go. Look at all his stats going up, eh? Uh, it's, it's not bad, is it? Um, who else? It was Mason who I praised last month with his training so yeah his stats are going up as well and that's the way it should be because they're so young they should be improving so okay okay well i think we'd best leave it there but and to coin a phrase we'll call it a day there um so overall not bad is it we started to make a bit of progress a couple of games in uh, next game will be Barrow. Obviously, I'll come back for that. I don't know when quite yet when it will be. Um, but yeah, 
Um, so far, so good. Um, nothing too much to moan about, apart from obviously the last performance. Catch me on the next one. Cheerio.